Hey, I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation, and welcome back to Aviation News. Let's get into it. First off today, Delta Airlines has announced plans to order the Airbus A350-1000. Adding this variant of the A350 to the Delta fleet makes a lot of sense, especially since Delta Airlines already flies the smaller A350-900 and have done so since 2017. The A350-1000 is one of Airbus's best-selling planes nowadays and is the larger version of the A350 equipped to hold a higher passenger capacity. Delta has announced it will welcome on 20 of the type, with options for 20 more A350-1000s available to them. This, however, is not surprising news, as Delta has been turning to Airbus for almost all their future fleet needs for the past five years or so. Ordering this latest variant of the A350 just further cements Delta's move toward Airbus and away from Boeing for their future fleet needs. This move toward Airbus, however, is nothing new. Back in 2020, Delta retired all 18 of their Boeing 777-200s in the fleet, even though they were not especially old. The 777-200s being retired was partially due to COVID, but also due to the fact that Delta was looking for an easy way to oust themselves of these Boeing jets. Between the outright retirement of the 777 fleet and the downsizing of Delta's 767 fleet in recent months, Delta is really shifting further toward Airbus, and in their view, this must be a good thing. On the wide-body front, Delta flies Airbus A350s as mentioned, and Airbus A330s. The A350-1000 could be used to help replace some of their large size gaps left behind by the 777 or their 747-400 retirement after acquiring 747s from Northwest Airlines in 2009. All of Delta's 777s and all but one of their 747s have now been sent to the deserts and parted out. Ordering the A350-1000 just further cements their move toward Airbus. However, from a financial view, it's a good thing. Shifting to an all-Airbus fleet is cheaper. In recent months, Delta has acquired Airbus A321neos. These will replace their existing A321s and 757-200s in the fleet. Also, talking Airbus, the A330s also make up a large percent of Delta's wide-body fleet. Between the existing A330CO and the newer A330-900neo variants making up a large percent of Delta's fleet. To see what it's like on board the A330neo, check out my friend Jeb Brooks' excellent video. A link is up in the upper right corner. Overall, even though this news wasn't super unexpected, this is great news. And moving away from Delta, the next major item of aviation news comes in the form of Australia. Qantas Link has recently said goodbye to the Boeing 717 retiring the type fully in the next couple weeks. I'm definitely disappointed I never made it to Australia to fly the Qantas Link 717, and it will surely be missed. However, it does have replacements in the form of the Airbus A220, which Qantas Link has recently added to its fleet and took its inaugural flight a couple weeks ago. The Qantas Link A220 is far more efficient than the 717, and will do an excellent job of replacing the plane and flying its former routes. Although not popular when still in production, the Boeing 717 was originally designed as a smaller version of the MD-90, known as the McDonnell Douglas MD-95. It came equipped with a glass cockpit and newer more efficient turbofan engines, and first took its inaugural flight back with AirTran. If anyone remembers AirTran, leave me a comment. However, following a merger with Southwest Airlines, the 717 was no longer wanted by Southwest, now Air Trans owner. Delta Airlines took up the plane as the largest operator, and still is the largest operator today. Qantas Link also took up a good handful of the jets to use on their domestic routes within Australia. Also, Hawaiian Airlines for inter-island hopper flights, and the plane gained a lot of popularity after its production. However, just like Delta Airlines, Qantas has now begun to replace the plane with Airbus A220s, a perfect fit for the 717, and a good ending. A220 cabin is also much better than the existing Boeing 717 cabins, as they are bigger and less cramped. However, the Qantas Boeing 717 will be missed. Also, my friend Paul Stewart recently flew on one of the last 717s, 
I'll put the link to his video up above. It's excellent. Well, that's going to do it for this video of Aviation News. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I also do plan to fly a 717 someday, so keep an eye out. But until then, wishing you blue skies and tailwinds.